Hi, this is Brett with Piano Aha. And in this video, we want to talk about another method of figuring out what major key you're dealing with if you have, for example, three sharps or four flats. And this method assumes that you know your perfect fifths, but if you do know those perfect fifths, then there's not a lot of memorization involved. So let's take a look at the piano. So we'll take C as our point of reference. C we'll call zero since it has zero sharps and zero flats. And then we will count upwards if we have sharps and count downwards if we have flats. And this counting will be counting the fifths. So if we have, for example, three sharps, we would say one, two, three. That must be A major. If we had, let's say, five sharps, zero, one, two, three, four, five, it must be B major. If we had flats, let's say four flats, zero, one, two, three, four, it must be A flat major. Now you might ask yourself, how do you know that that's A flat and not G sharp? Well, we said before that we were dealing with flats. So if we were dealing with flats, the name would be A flat and not G sharp. So now you might also ask yourself, well, what do I do if I run out of piano? So let's say I wanted to figure out six sharps, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, it still worked. F sharp major. But what if I had seven sharps? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, in this case, I can imagine what key I would be playing here. It would be a C sharp, right? Alternatively, I could just play this note an octave lower and see that my note is here. So seven sharps is C sharp major. So the advantage of using this method, like I said, is if you already have the perfect fifths memorized, and there's not a lot of memorization that goes on here. You just need to know that sharps go up, and if you want to figure out the name of a sharp key, then you just count up in perfect fifths. Flats go down, and if you want to know the name of a key with flats, you count fifths downwards. Perfect fifths. A disadvantage associated with this method would be that you have to have a piano in front of you or be able to imagine very distinctly a piano in your mind. Also, it takes a long time to figure out things like six sharps, seven sharps. So this method is sequential in the sense that you have to start at zero, one, two, three, etc. It takes a while to get there. It's not direct. So if someone says seven sharps, you don't just say, oh yeah, it's C sharp. You have to actually count to get there. So now you have another way of figuring out which major key is connected with some key signature. And maybe we'll see you in another video. Happy ahas.